Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UEACR GPU crash dump triggered. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your PC. Simply restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, run Steam as an administrator. For this, you can close the Steam first, exit and then type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then run as administrator and if there is any update update the game and then relaunch the game next step is to install latest firmware available from wheels available for the wheels so update all the firmware for steering wheels from the manufacturer website now the next step is to update logitech g hub so if you're using this update it or you can even use gaming software instead of logitech g hub you can uninstall it, restart your computer and install this Logitech gaming software from the Logitech website and then download it, install it and then you can check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties, go to launch option, type in dash DX11 and then now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working. Go to properties. This time you can type in dash DX12 over here. Launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename the config folder. Now for this open file explorer. Go to this PC. Open C drive. Open users folder. Open your username folder. Open app data. If you don't see app data at the top click on view select show. Put a check on hidden items. Open app data folder. Open the local folder. Open ACR folder over here and then open save folder. Here you can see config folder, make a racket. When you rename this config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now make a right click on config, rename and then type in dot old over here and then relaunch the game again and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. For this make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you the game installation folder, open the game folder over here, binaries, win64, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, still not working, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app. Browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. Wherever the game is installed, open the game folder. Select the game exe file. And then click on open. Type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. System and security. Windows Defender firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Click on now change settings, allow another app, click on browse, again go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then add. In my case the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Next step is to verify the game file, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. For this NVIDIA card users, go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, your operating system, click on fine. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver. So whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, click on view and then click on download over here. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue over here. Select custom option over here, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next. And once the once it is done, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. AMD card users go to AMD website, select 
your graphic card over here select graphics make sure that you select your graphic card this is just an example i don't have emd so select your operating system over here and then whichever is the latest whichever is the latest graphic card driver click on download it run it install it restart the computer after the installation and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder open the game folders and then select the game exe file over here and then click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list Uh, click on the game over here and then select high performance over here and then relaunch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down download this x86 and x64 and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to Try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in windows search box, click on control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Over here, I have only balance. In your case, you might see power saver. So you have to select power saver over here, select power saver, and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try balance or high performance each time restart, uh, relaunch the game. But first of all, try power saver and then check. Next step is to enable or disable. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on advanced graphic settings over here. And then if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check. If this is already on, turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to now disable integrated graphic card so make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager expand display adapter over here expand display adapter if your computer has a dual graphic card one is integrated other is discrete then you can make a right click on the integrated graphic card in my case it's intel make a right click and then disable device and then relaunch the game now once you're done playing the game or if you face any problem you can come back and then enable the device next step is to roll back graphics card driver if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case uh, you can uh, go to nvidia website select your graphic card your operating system and on this page you can scroll down and then click on view more version maybe you can try to install the uh, older graphic card driver view download it install it restart your computer but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next then restart your computer and then launch the game similarly amd card users go to amd website once you select your graphic card click on previous version over here and then select your operating system maybe you can try this one or this one try the older download it install it restart the computer and then check still not working the next step is to install directx file now for this you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description download it and then run the exe file click on yes to allow click on accept over here next uncheck install bing bar next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart the computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to try debug mode uh, you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option, NVIDIA control panel, and then go to help and put a check on debug mode. So put a check over here and then relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, uh, you can go to manage 3D settings over here and then go to global settings, restore, click on yes. At the bottom right, you will see the apply option, hit apply, and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. NVIDIA card users, you can open NVIDIA app and then 
if you find the game in on nvidia app then you can uh, you can go to graphics and you can select the game i don't have the game uh, right now if you see your game you can select your game acr.exe or acr and then if you see optimize option like this you can optimize it and then uh, relaunch the game and then check now if it is already optimized you can revert the optimization and then relaunch the game and then check you can even go to settings over here and then you can turn off this nvidia overlay turn it off and then re close nvidia app and then relaunch the game next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate so if you can if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz this is just an example you can lower down monitor refresh to 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart you can be and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so disconnect external keyboard and mouse like any usb adapter dongle connected if you have key crown keyboard or huntsman keyboard which you are not using disconnect it Laser Tartarus USB adapter. If you have any USB adapter dongle connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running which you are not using, just, just close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already off you can turn it on and then check try both and if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay close all overlay application and then check do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert you know or any other overclocking application running close it perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then check if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then check next step is to update windows now for this open windows settings go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working if you are able to launch the game, try window mode and lower down video settings and then check.
still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working uh, you can uninstall the game after you uninstall install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel